Switzerland is set to reinforce its air defense arsenal with the acquisition of four to five Iris T SLM medium range missile systems from Germany's Deal Defense GmbH and Company. KG. This move aligns with the nation's participation in the European Sky Shield Initiative, ESSI, a multinational cooperative project aiming to build a coordinated, multi layered air and missile defense architecture across the continent. The procurement will be financed through a 660 million Swiss franc credit framework, ratified as part of the 2024 armament budget, with contractual finalization anticipated in Q3 of 2025. The Iris T SLM, produced by Deal Defense, will become a central feature of Switzerland's ground based air defense medium range, BAD MR, initiative. Designed to replace older, Less capable systems such as the Stinger missiles and outdated anti-aircraft artillery, the Iris T SLM brings modern technology suited for contemporary airborne threats. These legacy tools are insufficient against current high-speed, long-range weapons, making a system like the Iris T SLM essential for bridging that defense gap. It will complement the longer-reach Patriot batteries plan for future integration, forming a robust, layered shield. At its core, the Iris T SLM is an all-weather, mobile defense platform adapted from the successful Iris T air-to-air -air missile. This version has been optimized for ground launch, incorporating advanced targeting capabilities and a broader engagement envelope. Its missiles can intercept targets as far as 40 kilometers away and at altitudes reaching 20 kilometers. Guided by an imaging infrared seeker, the missile offers exceptional accuracy and resists electronic interference. With a warhead engineered for proximity and direct impact detonation, it effectively neutralizes agile threats with low risk of collateral damage. The system ensures swift reaction times and offers complete 360-degree threat coverage, defending against a range of aerial dangers including cruise missiles, UAVs, helicopters, and fast-moving fighter jets. A critical component enhancing the Iris T SLM's efficacy is the TRML 4D radar, designed by German company Hensoldt AG. This radar incorporates advanced active electronically scanned array AESA, technology, enabling it to track up to 1,500 airborne targets within a 250 km radius. Highly transportable and quick to deploy, it provides vital situational awareness and threat tracking even in fast-changing operational environments. Between March 31st and April 11th, 2025, Arma Suisse, in coordination with the Swiss military, Deal Defense, and Hensoldt, conducted extensive trials to evaluate the radar system. These assessments took place at the Hamburg test area and the Emmen airfield, focusing on how the radar performs in Switzerland's mountainous geography, which dominates most of the country. Testing involved aircraft such as the F-18, PC-12, and helicopters to challenge the radar's detection range and tracking precision. Moreover, engineers verified the radar's compatibility with civilian frequency bands, ensuring its smooth coexistence with existing weather radar systems and air traffic infrastructure. No missile firings occurred, but data collected confirmed the radar's aptitude for Swiss terrain and operational demands. The Iris T SLM has already demonstrated its battlefield effectiveness in Ukraine, where it has intercepted a variety of airborne threats in an active conflict zone. Its performance has bolstered its reputation among European nations and NATO members, reinforcing its standing as a top-tier choice in the realm of medium-range air defense technology. This strategic investment by Switzerland not only improves its ability to counter sophisticated air threats but also strengthens the country's broader role in European defense collaborations. By incorporating the Iris T SLM into its defense framework, Switzerland secures more comprehensive airspace coverage and enhances its readiness to deal with cruise missile attacks. Furthermore, the decision reflects Switzerland's enduring commitment to defense autonomy while simultaneously supporting collective European security, all without compromising its long-standing policy of neutrality.